Ahoy, Vitaita. Welcome to my 100% playthrough of Harat on the very hard difficulty. We're doing all levels with a blank slate, which means it is basically a pistol start. And we are starting with the first episode, which is the only episode available as of this recording, which is Kiss Me Gustav. And we are starting, of course, with the first level as well, which is Cosmonautu Station. Let's begin. Alright, so we start off in a shelter with some check text. Now, I'll be quite honest, I don't know how to read check, but I can use subtitles to read that if you want. And the ultimate duty and honor of every citizen is to defend the homeland and its socialist establishment. So already we're getting a face full of uh, 1980s Czechoslovakian propaganda. And we're already getting our first enemy. And yes, you have to use the valve there in order to go into this area. You get a shotgun immediately to help you with this part. It's a Soviet shotgun and it's very useful for these grunt types. So let's go over here and put this barrel right here. You can just push it around. You don't have to press a use key or anything. And blow up that crack in the wall to go into here. Now there are some evil rat things. We're going to get rid of them and grab the submachine gun, which will be very useful. But, we can also go up to the observation tower, but I'll be quite honest, there's nothing there worth seeing. You can shoot through the electric panel, which will open this door up. And now we can get rid of these rats and go into this room. While avoiding the grunts and rats in this part. And look, it's a Matryoshka doll. It's just an aesthetic thing, but... If you want to get another secret, you can open this up and get a wife beater, which should give you quite a bit of armor. Also, if you want some explosives, you can get the landmine here. You can break some things in order to get some weapons and ammo, but usually ammo, sometimes armor. Anyways, there's the mortuary, and this is the contaminated clothing storage. Contaminated with what? I don't know, but we're just going to continue on. There are some more grunts here. They aren't completely like Quake 1 grunts. They shoot projectiles instead of hit scan, but it's very fast projectiles. But either way, we're going to continue on and shotgun these grunts down. Now, the whole thing about this game is that these guys are an unknown threat. And uh, I'll be quite honest, I don't know what they are either. I didn't spoil myself. I don't even know if I can spoil myself, but either way, there's sweetnesses we have to kill too in the process, which is very unfortunate. But there's also a radio you can interact with. And I don't like the sounds making. But you can always interact with these lockers if you want to look for things that you can get, like blood and fat, which is basically this game's health bonuses. There's also a book on lending you can read. But we're probably not going to do that. The exit is over here, but we can't get there yet. But we do have a rusty key that we can use to open this area up. We can kill two grunts in here. One of them shot me, but that's fine. We're just going to go into here, grab this metal, which is basically this game's version of armor. But aside from that, there's a valve here we can flip to open up that door in a previous area. But while we're here, we might as well check out this, this, and the portrait of Gustav. Mwah. Alright, now we're done with that. We're gonna go into here, kill this guy. He's pretty much an ogre. Like, look, he's got the grenade launcher, the melee weapon that's pretty deadly, and uh, he's pretty hefty if I do say so myself. But we're gonna ride the lift up now and go into this new area, grab some shells while we're at it, and go into this part where there's plenty of enemies here just waiting to screw us over. We're going to prioritize the grunts and then focus on the ogres. And hey, if you're careful, you might push one into here. They can get run over, but also while you're here, you want to grab the metal. It's another secret. You can tell it's a secret because there's blood hanging from it, as opposed to this one, which doesn't have blood hanging from it. It just gives you a metal, which is uh, more armor, which is never a bad thing. But after killing this ogre up here, there's a... There's a pup and uh, more grunts. 
And one more ogre we can get rid of. Yeah, these guys are pretty evil. They deal a lot of damage. But whatever, we got skim milk. Semi-skin milk. And we can get a hand cannon in this room. And we can check out this Duke Nukem 3D style camera. But let's continue. Now we need the gold key in order to progress here. And we need the silver key to progress there. So in order to get both of those, we're going to get the silver key first. But... We're going to check out the women's room. We're going to blow up the toilet, then the wall, and get the secret with shells. And now I can go into this vent, grab the silver key. You can do the same in the men's room if you want. There's another vent that'll help you get in and grab the silver key, but you want to go into the women's room if you want to get that secret. Anyways, in here are two more grunts, and a few more enemies will be waiting for you as well. We'll get rid of the grunts first and foremost. And preferably not get hit in the face with a grenade. There's more skim milk here. And uh, you don't want to interact with these uh, things. You can probably blow them up if you want. But we got the gold key out of this area. And we got rid of all the enemies so we can continue on. And now we can finally head outside. If you want you can try using a phone. But nobody answers. But anyways, we're continuing out through here. There should be a grunt here, and uh, sometimes he likes to immediately shoot at you. But whatever. There's a sweetness here. And another ogre. And uh, another one here, as well as another grunt. Let's blow him up like that. And if you want, you can ride this. But uh, if you have mo motion sickness, I recommend you don't. Anyways, you want to shoot this electrical circuit to open up this area. It's kind of hard to see, but that's because it's supposed to be a secret. And it gives you a medikit, or medkit, excuse me. This isn't doom, silly. Anyways, now we're done with all these enemies, we can go into the tavern. Unfortunately, the beer is out. But the grunts are in. But at the very least, you can play pool if you want. But I don't want to anymore. Anyways, we're going to go up here, open this up, get this last secret. It leads back into this part of the station. But aside from that, you can go back into here, kill this last ogre. He likes to jump because he's a weirdo. But... That should be all the enemies, and yes, I know it says 49 out of 50, one of the kills is bugged as of this video's recording. But aside from that, we're done. So that's Cosmonauts Station, and I know what you're thinking, this game looks a lot like Quake, doesn't it? Yes, it does, but I'd say the gameplay is a bit more similar to Duke Nukem 3D rather than Quake. And I'm not just saying that because of all the interactivity, now granted that is a feature that makes it stand out, but I'm just saying the gunplay and a little bit of the movement is similar. Not completely so. There are a few similarities to Quake, like the ogre enemy. Let, let's be honest, he's, he's, he's an ogre. He's big, he shoots grenades, and he's got a melee attack. He's an ogre. And uh, there, there are a few other similarities too, but like I said... Um, it's a bit more similar to Duke Nukem 3D than it is to Quake gameplay-wise to me. That's not a bad thing for me, but I don't know about you. Um, now granted, there will be some more differences we'll see in the future, probably in the next video when we cover more of this. But uh, I think I've rambled on for long enough. The game should hopefully speak for itself, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. So thanks for watching, and until next time, toodaloo.